Hey guys and girls, what's up? Synergy here, and we're bringing you a brand new episode. Obviously, I've been showing you most of the things that I can do PvE-wise. We're going to be bringing you out a flawless raid achievement as well, which is 0.3% of the people in the world has done this. Um, so we're going to be doing that very shortly. We actually did it last night, and we ended up getting screwed over by the Atheon glitch right at the end. Some of you people might have heard about it on Reddit, etc. and stuff like that. Um, what we're actually going to do here this time, obviously I'm a PvE player, but what I decided to do is I decided to give you something a little bit different, and I'm going to take on the challenge of some PvP against the general public. Who knows, I might even be against you. That's watching it right now. Right, so... Basically, the guns that I'm using is going to be the Avian's Epilogue, which is the raid gun, and that's a void. Now you can see it here, just annihilating that guy, even though I am hit down pretty damn hard. And the second one is the Purifier, and that is the new Monarchy Fusion Rifle, you can see that just take that guy out. Get a little bit lucky here, we take down his shields and then we melee him, and that regens our health as well. The helmet that I'm actually using is the Skull of Gaia Akamara, which makes me a lot more stronger when I'm using my Nova Bombs, etc. Now we're just going to melee that guy after we took him down a bit, because he's got nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. So we're on a 5 kill streak at the minute, let's see how much we can keep this going. And we get a nice little double down, so that's 7. Unfortunately, that was a clean hit, but the guy took him out before we even got the chance. So we're on seven, guys. Let's see how long I can last. Just remember, PvE player, simple as that. Now, the one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tactically as well. You can see me pick up the eighth kill right there. And I'm actually going to be sticking with people because the rule of PvP is you're weaker as one, you're stronger as two. In other words, you put one branch, it breaks. You put a couple of branches, it's strong. And there we go, number nine. We ended up defending one of our teammates there, which was Academic Gecko. I'm actually using the Warlock class in this one, I'm yet to level up my Blade Dancer on my Hunter, so I'm going to be bringing you out two different perspectives, one's going to be the Golden Gun, and the other one's going to be the Blade Dancer, as soon as I get used to it, I've never actually used that before. What we're going to do here is, available. we're basically going to pick up the Heavy Ammo, as you're all well aware, a lot of people do do this. And we're going to be using the Galahorn. Now, I'm going to be basically utilising the map to my abilities. I know someone's directly diagonal from me. So I'm just trying to get a viewpoint of where I can get a nice rocket in. Decide against throwing that rocket. As we jump up here, we see two right there. So we're going to place those cluster missiles and we end up picking up an assist. Okay, so we're still on a 9 kill streak. There's number 10. And we end up with the Relentless achievement. Not bad for one of my first PvP games. Yup, down in the corner. Okay, that's 11. Whoop, guy rushing, Matt. That's number 12. We'll keep it rolling. I'm playing. Okay, so we was going to use our super there, but we decided against moving forward because there's a guy hidden in the corner somewhere. We use our Nova Bomb, but it's to ill effect the being hit down a bit. That's number 13. 13 kill streak, guys. Not doing bad. Now I can see on the minimap right there as well. So I'm just going to back off that situation. I'm just going to use a different route. Because they're going to be expecting me there. Oh, 
Okay, we're going straight up. Unfortunately, we don't get that kill. Someone on the outside got it. Having a bit of difficulty finding them. They weren't showing up on the minimap for a while, but now they're getting closer. Number 14 down. And we finally get taken out on a 14 kill streak, guys. You can see my score there, 1710. Okay, so now I've basically got nothing to lose. So we can just rush in, pick up as many points as possible. It is a clash gameplay, so I'm just going to take them out as much as I possibly can. I do get taken out there, even though I did get a clean hit with the fusion rifle. Unfortunately, it didn't do the damage that I wanted it to. Heavy ammo so I got inbound. doubled up on, and that's what I mean by you're stronger as two rather than one. Heavy ammo's inbound, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick up that heavy ammo. That's going to be our first priority. What I like to do when I do get heavy ammo is if I can make it over to the next heavy ammo, what I basically like to do there is I like to camp the heavy ammo. Because, simple as that, someone will come for it eventually. It's a rule of fun. You can, uh, sorry, a rule of fun. <laughs> a rule of fun. But you basically see me pick up a triple kill on the way before as well and then we picked up another kill and we finally get taken out by Gold Duck. No, not Gold Finger, Gold Duck. Alright, so we're moving over to the next heavy ammo. No one's actually took this, left. which is sort of confusing to me because it is the most powerful thing to use in PvP. Now, what I decided to do there was just rocket the floor because I've seen the guy using his super and I thought, screw this, if I'm going down, you're going down with me, bitches. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to move on. You can see the red light there right in the corner so you know somebody's either using a sniper rifle or a scout rifle. Absolutely waste of an overbomb though. We do pick up a fusion rifle kill, but we get cleaned out straight after it. He was actually teabagging my body. Now let me just point out, that guy was teabagging my body, but how many times have I killed him and how many times has he killed me? For I actually think he's killed me that one time, so I hope he's proud of himself. And I think I killed him a good four or five times. And there we go, we kill him again. You're crushing them. We can't teabag him, unfortunately. Because we do have people all around minimap, and I'm going to get cleaned out right here because I've just walked into a trap. You're falling behind. Gained the lead. Now, when you are playing solo PvP, guys, basically, if your team's not doing very well, and you are, it doesn't really matter because you can still lose because it is a team game. You see me take out that guy while I get cleaned up by a super there. Lost the lead. And we've lost the lead. Son of a bitch. So now that we've lost the lead we need to rush in there. We need to get with our team, regroup and everything like that. We've not got long left to go so what we need to do is we need to kill as much as possible and look. It's RX, he's dead again. And then I actually get taken out at the last kill. And I believe that gave them the victory, that last kill. So unfortunately, that one's on me. Peace out, guys.